basically menstrual waste or even waste which comes from other kind of diapers you know children's diapers adult diapers they all have bl uh, blood and body fluid so whenever there is any body fluid involved whether it it is blood or any kind of anatomical material uh, it will uh, it is a potential hazard because bacteria or viruses or fungi or any of these kind of things can grow on it because it's a culture medium over 1 billion non compostable sanitary pads reach india's old and overburdened sewage systems landfills water bodies and open fields it is essential to use good quality sanitary products to protect the body against severe infections and diseases but inadequate information about the safe disposal of these pads is becoming a huge burden on our environmental safety in a special episode of the ndtv detol banega swachh india campaign here's a look at how we can make sanitary napkin disposal cycle safer healthier cleaner and greener Urban municipalities have come to dread sending sanitation workers to declog sewer lines as the flow of the sewage is hampered by the increasing number of gel-based diapers and feminine hygiene products like sanitary pads that are irresponsibly disposed of. As uh, more and more people start using these kind of products the uh, and the quantity of waste of this particular category increases uh, the uh, hazard uh, uh, that is potentially that can be caused by these will definitely increase. so many of these gel based uh, sanitary napkins or diapers they swell with the water and then they uh, clog the drains and what we have noticed is and many of our municipalities have uh, also got back to us on this is that even the vacuum cesspool that we have provided to most of the municipalities are not able to pull it out so actually a human being has to go down the manhole and physically go and pull this out which is uh, causing uh, uh, morbidity and mortality among the sewerage workers and uh, you know the municipal workers and uh, so this is uh, is a matter of great concern Have you ever given a thought to what happens to your menstrual waste after you dispose it off? After you hand your sanitary waste to your garbage collector, the waste is segregated manually by waste pickers. This exposes them to microorganisms like E. coli, Salmonella, and pathogens that are responsible for life-threatening diseases like hepatitis and tetanus. After segregation, the sanitary waste is driven out of the city and buried in a landfill. Since it is the non-biodegradable waste, this ends up staying in landfills for up to 800 years. The end result is overflowing landfills causing endless harm to the environment. The conventional mass-produced menstrual products are one-time use products and 90% of the sanitary pads are made of plastic, hence non-biodegradable. In India there is no recycling mechanism for the menstrual waste, but are the commercial pads available in the market safe and eco-friendly? Now most of these pads are your regular commercially available pads so they are non biodegradable non compostable pads so therefore if they're going into landfills or being thrown out of the open they're not going to disintegrate degenerate very quickly they could take hundreds and hundreds of years um so this is a growing um, concern amongst us so one is the environmental concern but uh, those of us who are working in this space are also concerned about the health of girls and women because what we know what's coming to us from the field of girls and women actually using pads who don't have access to disposal facilities is that extending or using that pad longer than they should so a so called a hygienic and a safe method of protection or absorption of menstrual blood is turning out to be unhygienic 
In order to manage sanitary waste, the new guidelines in the Solid Waste Management Rules 2016 issued by the Environment Ministry have made it mandatory for manufacturers to provide a pouch or wrapper for proper disposal of menstrual waste whenever they sell their products. That means the pouch should be made of recyclable materials or should decompose easily without polluting the environment. However, implementation still remains a huge issue. The disposal of menstrual waste at source varies, but how and wherever we dispose this waste, it lands up in our own environment. Throw with routine waste or dustbin. Menstrual waste enters the solid waste stream and is subject to the same treatment as other solid waste placed in landfills to disintegrate over hundreds of years. Thrown away in the open, in open spaces like rivers, lakes, wells, roadside. Menstrual waste can contaminate water sources and clog drains. Burning in the open. The burning of commercially available pads at low temperatures can create odors and expose nearby populations. Burying. Burial is not done effectively and without appropriate composting, the waste will take hundreds of years to degrade. In toilets, flushing down the toilet or throwing it in a pit latrine. Used pads mixed with fecal sludge complicates the disposal of that sludge or interferes with the production of usable manure. If sanitary pads are to be a safe hygienic option for girls and women, the safe management of menstrual waste must be part of the program and policy dialogues. The voices of girls and women as well as of waste collectors need to be incorporated to ensure that appropriate solutions are implemented. Two main concerns are central to the management of menstrual waste in India. One, many girls and women lack access to appropriate waste management options that may lead to the unhygienic use of safe absorbents, for instance girls using a single pad for 12 hours. And second, the paucity of disposal and treatment options may lead to the unsafe management of a mounting volume of menstrual waste. Against this backdrop, two solutions currently exist, incinerators and effective segregation.